What's going on guys, JB Tech here back with part 3 of the Typo Phone 4 theme. And in this video, I'm going to show y'all how to get rid of y'all's background and change it with your custom background. And also, I'll be showing y'all how to get rid of the bar, the little sliding bar at the bottom. So you can go from this plain old Typo Phone 4 theme to this and have it basically customized and with your own background and yeah stay tuned let's get started all right let's go so first we're gonna get rid of this little sliding bar down here at the bottom and it's really easy how to get rid of this all you got to do is go into Cydia and download a tweak called slide to unlock killer and as you see right here slide to unlock killer and what this does it enables you through winterboard to unlock or unlock to remove the text on the lock screen as well as the bar so once you have that installed exit out of Cydia and open up winterboard and go down to select themes and then make sure the slide to unlock killer text and slide to unlock killer bar are checked. And once you do that, go ahead and respring. And once this respring's, you'll see that you don't have a bar here at the bottom. All right, guys. Now that we got the bar taken off the lock screen, we're ready to move on to the good stuff, which is changing your background. Um, changing background. Uh, before we start, you gotta know one is how to SSH into your phone through a computer and to your IP address of your phone that you're changing the background to. And once you got the IP address, go ahead and download um, an SSH uh, software. And I'll leave, if you're using Windows, I'll leave a link down below of what you can use um, for Windows. But I'm using a Mac, and so I'll be using Cyberduck which is a free it's a free um, sshing software and i'll leave it down in the description bar so yeah once you got that downloaded and you got your ip address you're ready to go so we'll get started with that first you're going to open up cyberduck and then you're going to go ahead and click on open connection and he, right here you, where it says ftp we're going to change this to sftp which is the ssh file transfer protocol so once you get that done or once you click that go ahead and on the server this is where you type in your IP address so I'm not sure if you're supposed to be looking at this but go ahead and type that in on the port go ahead and put make sure it says 22 and on the username you're gonna type in root and on the password your password is going to be Alpine and go ahead hit connect and once this connects you're gonna see connection open up here and we're gonna go ahead and click this little blue arrow and then go down here to where it has a little forward slash and from here we're gonna go to var it's going to kind of be the same like what you did on iFile on the last video that I did of the blinking um, time on the lock screen. So after you hit on var, go ahead and hit stash. And then after stash, go ahead and hit themes. And then look for the typo phone for theme. And then here is where we're going to change it. So we're going to get a picture get a picture from the internet whatever you want to change it to and I'm actually using one of my pictures which is me and my girlfriend and then we're gonna change the file name right here we're gonna change the file name to lock background dot PNG so make sure it has the extension PNG um, and then once you click OK or enter you're going to get this screen where it's asking if you really want to change it from whatever your file extension was to PNG. So make sure you use PNG. Click on USPNG. I don't even know what 
I just said using PNG. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so once you get that done, go ahead and click and drag it into here. And then it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite it. Go ahead and click continue or OK. Yes, you will do want to overwrite it. So what this does is it's going to put this picture in for that black background you had. So once you get that done, go ahead and quit out of all of this. And then just respring your phone and you will see your picture in the background of the type of phone for theme that's all for this video uh, really hope this video helped all y'all who had questions um, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if it was informative to you and if it helped you and if you still have questions let me know down below uh, in the comments I can most likely help y'all out um, other than that if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and uh, hit the little subscribe button right up top of this video and I'll be coming out with more videos I'm trying to do daily videos so uh, if you have any suggestions let me know down below in the comments field what I should do my next video on um, tweaks jailbreaks whatnot all that good stuff um, also follow me on Twitter Facebook subscribe um, that's about it guys yeah thanks for watching guys I'll see you on the next video peace